If you clicked on this video, you probably know that CS2 has a cheating problem where it completely has gone out of control. More people seem to cheat than not. But what can we really do about it? And is it still salvageable? Is it still uh, saveable? Hello and welcome fellow virgins. It is iSuperVirgin here. And today I'd like to talk about how cheating in CS2 has gone out of control. Now, cheating has been an issue in a lot of different games nowadays. Uh, a lot of FPS games have this issue. Um, let's go back and look at, for instance, Apex Legends, in which two tournament players actually got hacked and lost control of their game during a tournament. One flash, where, where? Like below here, on my ping. I knocked him there. Yeah. Wait. Wait, what the f- What the f- Don't worry about it, don't worry I'm about getting it. hacked, I'm getting hacked. But I know, I know, it's sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I, I'm getting hacked. I know, but can you play, can you play? Yeah, but it, I'm, it's cheating. The f- No, I know, it's sure. I know, I know, I know. And what? Like what? They didn't get hacked during the tournament itself. It was before that, but still it happened during the game. And if it happens to pro players, it can happen to any of us. Next to that, you also have the video called the Wiggle that killed Tarkov, which did really well. So some of you have probably already seen that as well, which shows that in at least once every match, you get a cheater in front of you. So it's definitely a big problem in FPS. In the last few years and months, cheats have really advanced. They've gone further than anti-cheat. They've done things that anti-cheat can't detect. Um, there's an in-depth explanation video made by basically Homeless about a year back. Uh, he talks a lot more in-depth about all these different statistics behind it and whatnot. And it is really concerning what we see in these videos. To explain it a bit more briefly about how a cheat can be undetectable by anti-cheat is you could have two computers or for instance a computer and a laptop and you could be running the cheat on your laptop that is connected to your PC which then gives your PC signals. I can't really explain it fully but to explain it in a little bit you just have your laptop giving your PC controls from a controller, which means aim assist. And in a lot of instances, when you're playing with mouse and keyboard and you have a little bit of aim assist, you get a lot better at the game. Other than that, it's also said that one in three players in an FPS actually cheats. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that is a quite a wild statistic to see it. Now, this isn't, of course, just aim botting around or spin botting around like this isn't blatant cheating this is just simply a little bit of assistance that some people have like for instance playing counter-strike in this uh, case where you know where the enemies are going you know where the terrorist is planning to plant their bomb because you see them all moving to a but then you turn off your cheats and then that's how it goes there's a lot of different things that cheaters can use to make it seem a bit more sus rather than just to confirm oh yeah they're cheating and that's that's what they all really do use in order to stay on the game, still keep their progress, still keep their gameplay, think they're better than us, and eventually win the games. Then I've also found some stats on CS2 itself next to like this one in three players cheat. Um, this is data from about 10,000 different users, uh, and we're talking about Premier. Premier he here is now the competitive of Counter-Strike 2, so we're looking at, you know, the top of the top what we see here. Now, when we look at these statistics, we can see that a whopping 31% of the time, a cheater is met in every one to two matches of CS2 and only 12%, which is 1,200 people, never met a cheater during these tests. And that probably only accounts for the times that they knew they were with a cheater in the match, right? This is just random statistics. These were people that knew they were with cheaters. So this is more, I think, blatant cheating rather than a bit of subtleness. So these statistics are probably even higher when we look at all around cheating. Not to mention that none of the ranks are shown in these stats. So we don't even know whether or not these are players with, let's say, like an 8,000 ELO or a 15,000 ELO where it seems to really rise up the cheating. So we don't know how much these people have, how far they've ranked. Doesn't really change that much, but still it might actually change, you know, how many cheaters they meet in lower ranks. You're probably going to meet less cheaters than in higher ranks. If the issue still doesn't seem that wild to you or just not that severe, just know that the biggest YouTubers out there, the biggest streamers are actually quitting CS2. They're, they're no longer playing CS2 on their channels just because it's become unbearable 
comparable to play the game on higher ranks. You cannot play the game without at least having one cheater blatantly cheating in front of you. Next to that, I also have friends of mine who recently played on pretty high elo, I guess, but they played four wingman matches, two of which people were blatantly cheating and one of which a guy was a bit sus, but nothing too blatant, which means that these statistics are probably a lot higher than what we've seen. But again, I think that even people on these higher elos, these these higher ranking players don't exactly know when a person's cheating. Sometimes someone has a really good day. I remember I have been called a cheater. My friends have been called cheaters. We have never cheated once in our lives. We've still gotten called out for it because we're having a good day and we just do nice flicks or we're lucky that we know where someone is and this and that. But of course, when you're playing 10 games in an evening and every single game, someone just seems to always know where you are. It seems a bit weird that you're unlucky enough to meet 10 different people or a couple of different people that just seem to be having a good day. There is some good news to this, um, other than just being able to watch replays. Uh, recently, CS2 has actually added Overwatch again, which is basically with trusted people can look at footage and say whether or not the person that is being accused here is actually cheating or not. This is a system that was in Counter-Strike for years now it's a good system it works really well and it definitely helps out the developers to find which people are cheating so there are moves being made to make sure that there are less cheaters it's just it's taking a bit too long and for a company like valve that doesn't really make much sense again i feel like the majority of these cheaters only probably use it time to time they don't use it every single match they don't use it like 10 games in a row they just use it like one once and every so often but there's just so many of them that it's still noticeable that there's a lot of cheaters i'd say that i'm pretty decent at a lot of shooters and give me a little bit of aim assistance and my flicks all hit and i can keep tracking people you know i can make my spray patterns go away all of a sudden i'm 10 times as good as i usually am that's the whole Point. The difference between a good player and a bad player is just the consistency with their shots, for instance. There comes other things in mind like map knowledge and knowing where to throw smokes, all of that. For the most part, it's about being able to hit your shots. If you can hit every flick, every headshot, and you can hold sprays, then you're going to be better than an average player, which is why with these cheats enabled, you're better than the average player, therefore you win a lot of games. Cheaters of course use excuses like, I'm only good with cheats, or I still lose, or everyone does it, and it justifies it for them. For them, it's like, okay, yeah, if everyone uses it, I can use my cheats. If I still lose, that means even with cheats, I'm still not as good as the best, so, hmm not really my issue you're acting like you're good at the game so <laughs> this is clearly clearly a bad thing for the cheaters here the gratification of winning has become more important than playing fair which of course ties into something else that i've wanted to make a video about which is just the over competitiveness of gaming the only way that you could feel good in an fps nowadays is just by winning from the enemy team this is probably also why there's been such an influx of cheaters throughout these last years and months it's just a lot of people have just gotten tired of losing 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 and they don't want to try and get better at the game i personally believe that excuses like this are just they're just sad excuses honestly i mean really that's that's all you can do to justify yourself and if you're watching this and you do in fact cheat in, in any fps it doesn't even matter if it's counter-strike or not fuck you because you're the reason that this is all going to hell. You're the reason why more people are probably trying to cheat. If we all just stopped and played fair, we could end up on the rank we're supposed to be at. There's nothing wrong with being silver. I mean, I know it's used as like, oh, fuck you, you're silver, but there's nothing wrong with being a silver and just playing on your level and just not going higher or lower. I know I'm not global elite. I know I'm never going to be that, but I don't care about being that. I just care about being on a fun rank where I meet something challenging, but also something fun. And that is the whole thing here. If I meet cheaters the entire time, I'm just going to find challenging and frustrating, not 
fun. Now, lucky this isn't unsavable, and like I said, Valve is already making moves on dealing with these cheaters. I think it won't be long before there might actually be a giant ban wave. They're definitely looking into it. I mean, come on. They've done not a lot, but they've done something at least. So this is definitely something that uh, is going to change over the next couple of months. There is a new form of anti-cheat uh, arising, using AI to basically analyze the gameplay of someone. So when it looks at the gameplay, it can make a sort of digital footprint or a digital fingerprint rather, where it looks and just says like, oh yeah, it's that guy playing. Therefore, when somebody cheats and they move on to another account, the AI will actually be able to recognize just off a few hours of gameplay that that is actually the same person. Therefore, you cannot really just buy the game, get banned and then buy it again because you'll just get banned over and over and over again. So this will incentivize people to one, stop cheating and two, well, you're not going to be able to play a game anymore just because you cheated in it. That is definitely uh, pretty extreme, but still with the influx of cheaters, like I said, this is needed. This is definitely something that we need to do. Like I said, though, the uh, video by Basically Homeless was made a year ago. Since then, I really haven't seen that much progress on what is going on. The company that is making this AI anti-cheat stated that they're actually working on a big game. They're working with a big game, but what game they couldn't disclose. I know nothing of it. I don't think anyone really knows except the company itself. Next to that, basically Homeless does have a link to the web to a website where they're also working on a AI anti-cheat and you can send in your clips, your footage from Apex, CS, anything really from FPS games where you play legitimately and then the AI can learn more from it because that's the whole thing about AI. It needs to learn. So the more that it gets sent, the better it's going to grow. So that definitely check that out if you want to help contribute to the cheating problem that is persistent. Now, the biggest issue that would come with this with the fake flagging or the false flagging when an AI says like, oh yeah, this guy is cheating is well, you have this fingerprint. So imagine you're getting banned by an AI that is deemed so good and you will never be able to play that game again. It seems really severe and it seems like I don't really know how to feel about it, but again, there's so much cheating going on right now. Might as well do that for the beginning. I actually did forget another thing about CS2. They also added irregular gameplay, which means that if you play really irregularly, so all of a sudden you play really well, you will be suspended from playing for a couple of days or something. I don't know the exact statistics around it. I don't know exactly how long it takes or what you have to do to get this irregular gameplay, but it's definitely something good. So that people that get like reports a lot they can't play for a couple of days this will at least suspend the cheaters and you know depending on how many suspensions you get you might actually be able to get banned so this is definitely good steps uh, by Valve they're making moves against the cheaters so thank you for that but hey let's see what they have in store next for us but what do you think do you think that for the next coming years we will be plagued with cheaters just as we are now or do you feel like we might actually see a change in the future at least I hope that in this year's we'll at least see a big change against cheaters in these FPSs. But anyhow, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And while you're down there, leave a like to show that you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more content just like this. It really helps me out, spread my content as a smaller channel. As always, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.